the United States really should have checked with Canada before employing these scandal-plagued Dominion voting systems in the 2020 presidential elections. The more you dive into it, and trust me, I have, the more you realize how deeply entrenched they are in every part of the quote-unquote democratic traditions of North America. In fact, allegations of voter fraud follow Dominion voting systems so often it's hard to keep track of all of the elections in which shenanigans are alleged. Despite that, state election officials, both in Canada and the United States, continue to trust them, for better or for worse. Sure, they might have donated $50,000 to the Clinton Foundation, but who cares, right? Well, you should. Every American should. Every Canadian should. DVS is used in every single one of Georgia's 159 counties. They're used in many of the swing states that just sent their electoral votes, surprisingly, to Joseph R. Biden. In Antrim County, ballots were counted for Democrats that were meant for Republicans, causing a 6,000 vote swing against our candidates. The county clerk came forward and said, tabulating software glitched and caused a miscalculation of the votes. Since then, we have now discovered that 47 counties use this same software in the same capacity. Dominion voting is not just throwing the American presidential election and their entire democracy into disrepute. They have done it with Canadian elections time and time again for years and years. But nobody in Canada, much less the United States, has bothered to take notes on that because, well, Canadian media is generally complacent and they don't care as long as their guy wins. That's Justin Trudeau most of the time. Consider what happened in New Brunswick, a small Canadian province, during their 2014 general election. The local election authority rented over 700 tabulating machines to count the votes instead of their traditional by-hand method. The race was neck and neck and many thought that the Conservatives were going to overtake the Liberals. All of a sudden, the tabulation of ballots was suspended Monday around 10.45 p.m., very late at night. Does that ring any bells? For almost two hours, as concerns arose about technical glitches with memory cards and discrepancies with the vote counting machines, well, two hours later, after that anomaly, the Liberals gained a commanding lead all of a sudden and formed government. What do you know? That's not to say that Conservatives don't use Dominion voting systems or trust them, trust their hardware and their software. They do, happily. Despite the consistent technical and voter security concerns reported so often with Dominion voting, in 2020, the American election wasn't the only one where these ubiquitous tabulators made millions of people question the results. The Conservative Party elected a new leader this year, sort of like what happens with the DNC and the RNC during their primaries. The victor will challenge Justin Trudeau in the next general election in Canada, and the Conservative Party of Canada was worried that people would claim voter fraud like they did in 2017. See, those results led to one candidate coming out of nowhere to beat the preferred candidate by just less than 1%. Does that also sound familiar? See, in 2017, reports questioned how 7,466 votes seemingly appeared out of nowhere. The guy who needed just a few more votes magically got them. According to Michael Harris, quote, serious questions were raised about whether the vote that put him in office was rigged. That was in 2017, and they needed to shake that to ensure that the same allegations of overwhelming voter fraud when using Dominion voting systems didn't come back to haunt them in 2020. Sean Hannity reported that Dominion voting assured them that, quote, no credible reports or evidence of any software issues exist. Dominion voting says that it was human error. It makes any reasonable thinking person have to ask, what about these shady systems leads to so much, quote, human error? And whether it is these machines or the people using them that causes routine ballot irregularities, who can you really blame but the company running the opaque democracy machines? All this is to say, America, you really should have asked Canada about these machines before you decided to use them in your swing states, no less, to determine the course of a superpower for the next four years. For Rebel News, I'm Kian Bexty. Hey, thanks for tuning in to our coverage. Be sure to like and subscribe to our video here on YouTube. And if you haven't yet, ring the notification bell so you stay up to date with everything.